So the Z170 based motherboards are out. Uh, there's also the, the brand new PCIe M.2 NVMe SSDs that have set a new performance benchmark. And a lot of you have been asking, how do you install these SSDs in RAID on these new motherboards? And today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. Hey, I'm Rod from Ram City and I'm going to be showing you how to install not just one, but two of these guys, which are the Samsung SM951 NVMe version. So it's a PCIe M.2 SSD. And I'm going to be installing it in this system, which is a uh, system with a ASRock Z170 uh, Extreme 7 Plus motherboard. So it's a bit of a monster. It's got three M.2 sockets that feed directly off the um, CPU for the PCIe lanes. And you can actually install Windows in RAID. So um, this is just for the hardware only. So if you want to get straight into configuring the BIOS and installing the Windows software, have a look at this video. Otherwise, stick around. So the things you'll need today, obviously you'll need your uh, M.2 PCIe SSDs and you will also need at least a Phillips screwdriver. So this is, I've got one from my iFixit kit. I always work off an anti-static mat with a wrist strap. And if you want to learn more about uh, electrostatic discharge, which is um, what you need to protect yourself from with this equipment, then you can have a look at this video. Uh, you will also need a couple of M.2 SSD fastening screws. They will come with your motherboards in the box. So you should find a few of these because well, this system at least has got three M.2 sockets, so there should be at least three screws. And so let's get the case off and get started installing the hardware. All right, so uh, we've got the case off now. We can see we've got our three M.2 sockets here, and I'm going to populate two of these. And I've also disconnected this SATA cable here, which is for this SSD, just so I'm making sure that I'm only going to be booting off of uh, these drives here. Now another important note with this being a Z170 system in this ASRock uh, Extreme 7 Plus motherboard, you've only got 16 PCIe lanes to work with. So every time you populate one of these with a PCIe 3.0x4 M.2 SSD, you're consuming four of those lanes. So I'm gonna use up two. That's only gonna leave eight lanes for an additional GPU. And I'm not, I haven't got an additional GPU in this system. I'm just using the onboard Intel graphics. Uh, but that's just something to bear in mind. So if you wanted to go the whole hog and install three M.2 SSDs, you're only going to have, uh, and PCIe SSDs I should point out, and you're only going to have four lanes left to work with. So that might be something to consider. So we'll just go ahead and install the drive. So this top slot, it can be a little sticky to get into. So I'm just going to populate in slots two and three. So all you've got to do is line up the notch with the guide in the socket and just give it a bit of a wriggle because it will take some wriggling to get it in. And the bottom one as well. So it just goes in at an angle, line the slot up with the guide. Now we just put the screws in. So that's them in. I'm just going to make sure they're really firmly installed, which they are. Alrighty, so that's the M.2 SSDs installed. So now we're ready to do the BIOS configuration and install Windows. And for that, you want to head straight on over to this video here.